Richard Keel made a towering impression on the silver screen. Standing over seven feet tall, he brought a unique presence to his roles, often playing characters that were as gentle in spirit as they were large in stature. His most memorable role was the steel-toothed villain Jaws in the James Bond films, which showcased his ability to blend menace with a hint of humor. Beyond acting, Keel was also a writer and a voice artist, sharing his talents in various forms of storytelling. His career spanned several decades, leaving a lasting mark on the film industry and audiences worldwide. Richard Keel was a unique actor known for his towering height and distinctive voice, making him a memorable figure in film history. He is best known for his role as the steel-toothed villain Jaws in the James Bond films, which made him a favorite among fans for his imposing presence and gentle giant persona. Now, think about Richard Keel's career and consider these questions. What qualities do you believe make him a lasting symbol in the movie industry? What sets him apart from other actors of his time? We're eager to hear about your most treasured memory or personal experience with this classic star. Your stories and memories are valuable to us, so please share them in the comments. Stay tuned because we have many surprising, amusing, and touching facts about Richard Keel's life and career to share with you. His legacy continues to bring joy and entertainment to audiences around the world. Let's celebrate the life of this remarkable actor together. Richard Keel grew up in a family that encouraged his height to be seen as a positive trait, which later became his signature feature in his acting career. He was born in Detroit, Michigan, and moved to Los Angeles with his family, where he was inspired by the film industry. His early jobs, including working as a nightclub bouncer and a cemetery plot salesman, helped him develop the confidence and presence he needed for the screen. He was discovered as an actor while working at these jobs. His towering height and unique look caught the attention of producers, leading to his first roles in television and film. Keel's early roles often typecast him as a villain due to his size, but he worked hard to show his range as an actor. His most notable role was as Jaws in the James Bond films, which showcased his ability to add depth to a character that could have been just another henchman. Keel's perseverance and ability to use his physical traits to his advantage were key to his success. Richard Keel was an actor known for his towering height and distinctive features. He became famous for playing the character Jaws in the James Bond films, which made him a recognizable figure in Hollywood. His role as the steel tooth villain brought a new kind of character to the screen, one that was both menacing and memorable. This role showed that villains could have unique traits and still be a significant part of the story. Keel's presence in film helped to change how characters were written and portrayed, making room for more diverse and interesting roles. His work influenced other films to create characters that stood out and added depth to their stories. Even after his time, his style of character is seen in movies today, proving his lasting effect on the industry. Richard Keel discovered his passion for acting in his early 20s. While working as a nightclub bouncer, a producer noticed his towering height and unique look, leading to his first film role. This unexpected opportunity sparked his interest in acting. He enjoyed the process of becoming different characters and the joy of storytelling. His early experiences on set, the encouragement from fellow actors, and the positive reactions from audiences confirmed his desire to pursue acting as a career. It was a simple job that turned into a lifelong passion for performance and entertainment. Richard Keel brought memorable characters to life on screen. As Reese and Silver Street, he showed his talent alongside Clifton James, who played Sheriff Pepper in two James Bond films. Keel's portrayal of the towering henchman Jaws in The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker left a lasting impression on audiences with Sir Roger Moore as James Bond. After a car accident in 1992, Keel faced challenges with balance and mobility, leading him to use a walking stick or scooter for longer distances. His role in Happy Gilmore was adapted to accommodate this, with scenes carefully framed to avoid showing him walking. In the Wild Wild West, he played Voltaire and later shared his experiences on the show with fellow veterans Whitey Hughes and Ken Chase, reflecting on their time with lead actor Robert Conrad in Tom Weaver's book. Keel's journey through these roles shows his adaptability and dedication to his craft, despite the physical hurdles he faced. Richard Keel faced significant challenges in his acting career, including financial difficulties and doubts from the film industry due to his unusual height. 
Despite these obstacles, he showed great determination. He took on various roles that suited his towering stature, often playing characters that became memorable to audiences. His unique look, which could have been a setback, became his strength as he found a niche in portraying larger-than-life figures. This approach helped him stand out and secure roles that showcased his talent, leading to a successful career in Hollywood. Keel's story is one of turning personal challenges into professional opportunities. Richard Keel was a man of contrasts. On screen, he often played towering, intimidating characters, but off screen, he was known for his warm and gentle nature. He made lasting friendships with many of his co-stars and crew members. His most memorable role was as Jaws in the James Bond films The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker, making him the only actor to reprise the role of a henchman in the franchise. Fans had the chance to meet him in person when he signed autographs at a DVD market in Cologne, Germany in January 2004, where he greeted them with the same warmth he was celebrated for by his peers. Richard Keel's career saw a significant turn with his role as the steel-toothed villain Jaws in the James Bond films The Spy Who Loved Me and Moonraker. His towering height and unique look made him a memorable part of the Bond series. This role brought him worldwide fame and became a favorite among fans for his portrayal of a character who was both fearsome and endearing. His colleagues praised his ability to bring warmth to such a large and intimidating figure. Critics noted that he gave depth to what could have been a simple henchman role. This performance opened doors for him in Hollywood, leading to more roles in film and television where he could showcase his talent beyond the villainous characters. Richard Keel shared his life story in the book Making It Big in the Movies, which came out in 22. His role as the towering villain with metal teeth and silver streak was a standout, even though he couldn't be called Jaws there. Later, he brought the same memorable character to the James Bond films. Keel also appeared in Happy Gilmore as Mr. Larson, and his towering presence led to a reference to Frankenstein, a character he portrayed in the film I Was a Teenage Monster. Richard Keel was known for his towering height and strong presence on screen. His approach to acting was shaped by his physical attributes, which he used to his advantage to bring life to memorable characters. He often played roles that required a commanding figure, which was natural for him. His personal experiences, especially the challenges he faced due to his size, influenced his portrayal of characters that were often seen as powerful yet had a gentle side. This unique blend of strength and kindness made his performances stand out. He believed in bringing authenticity to his roles, ensuring that each character, no matter how fantastical, felt real and relatable. His work reflects his belief that everyone, regardless of their appearance, has depth and complexity. Keel's style was straightforward. He focused on the essence of the character, stripping away anything that didn't serve the story. This clear, honest method resonated with audiences, making his characters unforgettable. Richard Keel was a talented actor who could speak German perfectly. He started his acting career with a role in the television series Klondike. He had a unique house designed to suit his tall stature, with floors set lower than usual. This made living more comfortable for him and showed his practical approach to life's challenges. Richard Keel made a significant mark in the film industry with his towering height and unique look, most notably as the character Jaws in the James Bond films. His portrayal of the steel tooth villain was not only memorable, but also added a new dimension to the antagonist role in action movies. His ability to convey emotion and intent through minimal dialogue changed how such characters were perceived and used in films. Experts in the film industry and actors who followed in his footsteps have noted that Keel's performances showed that physical traits could be used to enhance storytelling, creating memorable and distinctive characters without relying solely on dialogue or traditional acting methods. His work inspired a shift towards more visually striking characters in cinema, influencing casting and character design in action and adventure genres. Richard Keel shared his experiences in interviews for Tom Weaver's books, where he spoke about his acting career and personal views. He expressed particular pride in playing Samson in The Longest Yard, which he saw as a significant turning point. This role not only gave him a chance to stand out, but also led to his casting in the television series Barbary Coast. Additionally, Keel was working on a book titled, You Can Be a Super Salesman Using Christian Principles, reflecting his effort to guide others in sales using his faith values. Richard Keel was known for his towering height, 
and his role as Jaws in the James Bond films, but outside of acting, he was a family man devoted to his wife and children. He enjoyed the simple pleasures of life like fishing and spending time outdoors. Keel was also a Christian and wrote a book about his faith. His kindness and gentle spirit were evident in his support for children's hospitals and his visits to sick children. He believed in giving back and often participated in charity golf events to raise money for those in need. His personal life was filled with acts of kindness that mirrored the warmth he brought to his on-screen characters. Keel's life showed that he valued love, family, and helping others, and these principles were reflected in the roles he chose and the way he lived every day. Richard Keel, known for his towering height and strong presence, made an early appearance in The Nutty Professor as a man in the gym. This role came before his famous portrayal of Jaws in the James Bond series. In another turn of events, Keel was initially picked to play the Hulk in the 1977 television series. However, after just two days of filming, the producers decided he didn't fit the part physically and chose Lou Ferrigno instead. Keel wasn't upset by this change. He was relieved because the full eye contact lenses required for the role were uncomfortable and he had vision in only one eye. In Pale Rider, Keel played Club, a character who, after a painful encounter, is aided by Clint Eastwood's preacher. Due to Keel's back issues, a special step was used to help him mount his horse, a detail that attentive viewers might notice in the film. Richard Keel made a significant name for himself in the acting world with his towering height and memorable roles, especially as the steel-toothed villain Jaws in the James Bond films. His unique look and gentle giant demeanor won over many fans. For those looking to follow in his footsteps, he advised focusing on what makes you unique and using that to your advantage in your career. He believed in hard work, persistence, and always learning from each role. For the future, he hoped to inspire others to pursue their dreams with determination and to find joy in their craft, just as he did. He encouraged aspiring actors to stay true to themselves, to be patient, and to embrace every opportunity to grow. Richard Keel, known for his towering height, attended the Scandinavian sci-fi game and film convention in Stockholm, Sweden in October 2003. In the film Pale Rider, he portrayed Club, a character whose large head, face, hands, and feet suggested he had acrimony, a condition that causes abnormal growth. Additionally, Keel tried out for a role in The Princess Bride not once, but twice showcasing his dedication to his acting career. Richard Keel's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by his unique presence and dedication to his craft. Standing tall at 7 feet 2 inches, he brought an unforgettable energy to every role he played. Best known for his portrayal of the steel-toothed villain Jaws in the James Bond films, Keel's performances were not just about his size, but also his ability to give depth to his characters. His work inspired many and showed that with creativity and hard work, one can leave a lasting memory in the hearts of audiences. His story encourages us to believe in our own creative spirit and to keep pushing forward, no matter the challenges. Richard Keel often found himself mistaken for other tall actors from classic television shows, which amused him. He had a memorable time at Omgeken in March 2008, where he engaged with fans, signed autographs, and sold his books. Playing the Hulk was a challenging role for him, primarily due to the extensive makeup and limited vision from the contact lenses. He was quite content when he learned the role would go to someone else, and expressed that Lou Ferrigno was the perfect choice for it in his autobiography. Richard Keel made a significant choice in his acting career when he decided to play the role of Jaws in the James Bond film, the spy who loved me instead of Chewbacca in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. He believed he could add more to the character of Jaws, a role that allowed his face to be seen as opposed to the fully costumed Chewbacca. His decision was also influenced by the salary offer, which he felt did not match his experience. In 2009, he connected with fans at the Scandinavian Sci-Fi Game and Film Convention in Sweden. Before his fame as Jaws, Keel portrayed the Diablero in a swamp monster in two episodes of Kolchak the Night Stalker, showcasing his ability to play imposing and memorable characters. Richard Keel's presence was always one to remember, whether at fan events or on the big screen. In April 2013, he made an appearance at the Vintage Toys and Memorabilia Show in Walnut Creek, California, where fans enjoyed meeting him. On the set of Pale Rider, Keel faced a unique challenge when the first horse assigned to him couldn't support his weight, leading to a quick change to a sturdier horse. Despite his towering height, 
Keel had a fear of heights, which made his role as Jaws in the James Bond films particularly challenging. To help with the demanding stunts, Martin Grace, Roger Moore's stunt double, stepped in. Grace was excellent at mimicking Keel's movements, and despite being shorter, audiences couldn't spot the difference on screen. Richard Keel had a unique presence that made him stand out in the entertainment world. In May 2013, he was at the Motor Museum in Beaulieu, Hampshire, UK, where fans had the chance to meet him. He was there selling books and signing autographs, sharing moments with those who admired his work. His role as Jaws in the James Bond films was so memorable that a stunt coordinator recommended to producer Covey Broccoli that the character should return for another movie. This advice was taken, and Jaws became one of the few villains to appear in more than one Bond film. Keel's acting career included roles that were not always credited. For example, in The Magic Sword released in 1962, he played a character referred to as Pinhead No One. Although his name did not appear in the screen credits, a review by Variety from April 11, 1962, confirms his participation in the film. Keel's work, both credited and uncredited, left a lasting impression on his fans and the film industry. Richard Keel's work in film and television brought joy and excitement to many. His role as the steel-toothed villain Jaws in the James Bond films is unforgettable. He showed us that characters can be both fearsome and endearing. His tall stature and unique look made him a memorable figure on screen. We invite you to share your favorite memories of Richard Keel's performances and how they made you feel. Your thoughts are valuable to us. If you enjoy discussions like this, please like, share, and subscribe for more content that celebrates the actors and stories that have shaped our viewing experiences. Your support helps us keep these memories alive and continue honoring those who entertain us. Thank you for being part of our community.